Hi, my name is Darren Nugent and I run the website safeconcerts.com and I'm going to explain to you today how you can avoid getting ripped off by ticket scams and fraud websites. And the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to have a quick look for tickets that are available now on the internet. And I'm going to just go into Google, I'm going to type T in the park. And the first thing you can see here is we've got the official Tea the Park website, uh, but above that we have a sponsored link which is for Tea in the Park 2011.com. So, assuming that I've already run out of tickets with Tea in the Park, so they've sold out so quickly, I'm going to go and try a sponsored link to see what I can get hold of. So, I'm just going to follow this. Now, as you can see, I've got a perfectly legitimate looking site here, all the Tea in the Park logos, pictures down the bottom. We've got here different types of tickets. And I'm just going to say, okay, weekend with camping tickets, £199, which is slightly over the asking price, but they're available now. Uh, so I can choose to buy five tickets and just go buy. Now, the problem is, you're looking at a Tea in the Park website here, do you actually know if that's a legitimate site? The thing is, you don't. And all the advice you've heard about how to avoid uh, scam websites, such as making sure there's a proper phone number, correct contact details, the problem is these sites are getting more and more sophisticated. I'll be honest with you, this is one of the more basic ones we've seen, but it gives you a good idea. Now, what we've created is the Ticket Safe directory, so we've listed all the ticket, safe, ticket selling websites on the internet uh, that we've found so far and we look into them, investigate them and we can tell you whether or not it's a scam or whether it's going to be a legitimate site where you can safely spend your money with. So how do you do this? Well firstly, just about to buy our tickets and give away £1,000 to these, uh, these people. I'm just going to copy the URL at the top I'm going to go to the safeconcerts.com website, which I've got open here. So I've gone to the ticket safe section. You don't have to, you can use any of these search boxes at the top there. And you see it says I've bought from or I'm thinking about buying tickets from this website. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste in the URL of the website I was just looking at and go search to see what we can find. And you can see it's immediately found the website Tina Park. 2011.com and it shows you that it is in our red list which means it's a danger site and one that you should avoid at all costs because the chances are you're going to spend your money here and you're not going to get your tickets and you're not going to find out that you're not going to get your tickets until you turn up at Bellardo Airfield and they tell you your tickets aren't there or that they're fakes. So you can see here we've got the alert which means it's, it's come up quickly and it's a very dodgy site, we wouldn't advise that. We show our confidence rating in the site, so we base it on the, the things we find when we investigate in into them further. Listed here, we've got no positive attributes. If there were any positive attributes, we'd put them in there. But you can see we've got buyer beware, no contact details, no landlines, not allocated tickets. Basically, we suggest you avoid this site. So within maybe 15 or 20 seconds you can see straight away that this is a site you should not be using and if you do use it I mean it's completely up to you but if you use this site chances are you're going to lose your money and you're never going to get these tickets because they're selling tickets they don't have simple as that the only people who can sell them are the people authorized by Tea in the Park this ain't one of them and like I say we can't tell you what to do but we can advise you you see we put more information on about the site if we've got them and at the bottom, if you uh, register, you can add your own feedback about the site. So if you disagree with what we say about it, or if you've had a bad experience, you can post it on there. You can also use our forum to discuss these sites and ask any questions. If we go back to the Ticket Safe section on the website, it's not just a list of all the rubbish websites, you've also got in here a list of all the good websites, all the recommended ones, uh, what we call primary ticket agencies, 
Uh, we'll explain to you about that more at some other point in time. But you can see here down the left hand side we've got links to our main lists which is the red list which is a list of websites that you should really be avoiding right now. These are the ones that we're having the most the most chatter about, the ones that where the, we're most worried about, the ones where people are spending the most money on. So you can see here we've got a list of well we've got nine pages of results on there so it just goes to show what we've what we've uncovered. Uh, but we've also got a green list which shows you all the sites you should be using. Um, now there's plenty of these sites so we're not specifying one over the other but if you use any of these you're likely to you are definitely going to get your tickets unless you, they cancel the event but then you're going to get your money back on that one. If a website is not in there there's two reasons for that. One, either we've not listed it yet so there's a good chance that it's a brand new one that's sprung up. There's a good possibility that those sort of websites are going to be scam ones because they add the new website and they put it up with the sponsored links just like we saw earlier and uh, that's how they get you to click on the links and buy the tickets from them. So if it's not listed out here, chances are it's not going to be a good one. However, there is a section on here where you can add a site yourself. So if you're not sure, you can submit it, we'll look into it, we'll let you know what they're like. Obviously it's not quite so instant, but it gives you the opportunity to contribute to this and maybe we can stop these tabs once and for all. We've also got articles here on ticket safety, uh, how to buy tickets safely, uh, what to do if you are a victim of fraud, um, and other such like stuff. We've got a glossary on there as well to help you out with things. But the most important thing is, it is literally just a 15 second task to check the URLs before you spend your money with these people. If you do that, you may well save yourself a load of heartache in the future. Now we've got in here at the top of every page of the site we've got a search box so even if you're not in the ticket safe section and maybe you, you're on our home page where we're showing all our latest latest news, photo galleries, all the usual enjoyment stuff about entertainment if you, you can do the same thing and use the search feature at the top on any page and it will bring you up in our main site and we see here's a section specifically for the ticket safe directory where this is site that's going to take you straight to the uh, information again. You can also report items so we tend to get touts on here saying oh our site's so fantastic I rate my site 5 out of 5. Obviously they don't say it's their site but you can just tell uh, so you can report things if you need to. We also have on here in our Facebook site uh, we've got a Safe Concerts Ticket Safe Directory uh, app that you can place onto your Facebook page. Um, obviously, the more people that do this, the more chance we've got of snuffing these tabs out and people won't get ripped off. Um, that's probably about enough now. I don't want to give you too much, <laughs> too much information all in one go. So just remember, spread this around. The more people know about this, the less chances there are of these people being able to survive and we won't pay each year who've bought fake tickets from these websites. So uh, don't get ripped off, uh, be ticket safe, and uh, stick a finger up to these tabs. Uh, so you can find us at safeconcerts.com forward slash tickets, or you can go to beticketsafe.com, and you can find all the information you need.